Look at this. Look at this. I think this is what they were talking about last night. This is what we heard was going to happen last night, but it's happening tonight. Yeah, yeah. No noise yet. Still early. Look at them all down the street. I guess they're going to continue on down the street or something like that. Hello, everyone. Hey, Christopher Smith of Hope, New Jersey. That's Donna. Hey, Donna, say hi to Chris. That's, that's Donna up in our, uh, I tightened this today too, up in our apartment. Two F. It's a cold, rainy, miserable day here in, here, and there's my grandson. I'm going about saying I'm saying in the right <laughs> Hey, Donna. Yeah. Say hi to Chris Smith out in Hope. Oh, it's oh. right on the phone. Hi, Chris. Hi, Megan. <laughs> hi. There's Vaughn. There's Carolyn. Ah. There's, there's the whole... Oh, are you, is this Facebook Live? Yes. Oh, I'm dancing like a... Yeah, like whatever. a fool. Hi. <laughs> might, as well, might as well be a fool now. <laughs> Tommy Campbell. Tommy Campbell. Campbell. Said, Hi, Jay. I love your mask. Tommy Campbell. Hi, Tommy. You may not recognize the woman in, in the Bill, black mask. That's Zorro. Hi, Jay. Da, da, da. Hey, guys. Hi, T2. Look down, look at all the ambulances. See all the ambuli down there? Plural of ambulances, of course, it must be ambuli. And there they are. Yeah, antelopes. Ambuli. Thank you. Oh, we have a lot of fun out here. It's dark and, and rainy today, and I like it. Now, why is that making me feel good? No, I'm not. I'm not in the middle oh, of the street. I'm right in the car. The curb up the street. What's the matter? What's the matter? Are you worried about my getting hit by a car? Yeah, like, it's not like that's happened before. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Gotcha. <laughs> Wait, is it 7 o'clock? Yeah, it is 7 o'clock. It is 7 o'clock. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. Woo! 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 What time is it? Is it 7 o'clock, anybody? Right, it's Just... Howard Gloucester was just listening to Two Against Nature. Howard, am I to keep yeah! your identity secret? You let me know, I won't say. Hi, Tomoko, say hello to Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Tomoko says hi. Hi. Tomoko says hi. Donna, Tomoko says hi. Tomoko says hi. What do we got? Sunday off? No.
I'm gonna put you right here. You'd be safe. Look at this, look at this, I'm waiting for them all to turn on their sirens. I'm just a little boy, just a little boy at heart, just want to hear those sirens. Vaughn wants to join the live stream, so I told him, come on. Somebody's panicking. <laughs> yeah, I can hear that. Even I can hear that. The man across the street in the, uh, in the white, in the great uh, beige baseball cap, I think, I think that's the E flat there. My glasses are all fogged up, I can't see a thing. Is that you there? Well, if you should see how the, the sirens look at the fog, there's a rainbow around every, uh, every light. Wow. Well, once again, I didn't get the display of sirens and screaming and yelling and clapping and praising as I expected. I was told they were going all go down, up and down the street. Maybe they're just standing in, in parade to show it. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> National Anthem. They're just standing there. I don't blame them. Yeah. I guess it's not going to be It's not going to be a uh, crazy parade. It's just going to be a display. It's like uh, troops, being, troops being reviewed. Woo! Anyway, it's moving. Wow. Okay, time to go upstairs. Yeah, yeah, you bet. I think that's what it, I think that's all it is. I think that's what it is really. It's just the twenty-five ambulances just for our sake, coming right on West End Avenue so we can be seen. I appreciate that. We've seen too many of them screaming by all week long, I mean, for six weeks. Ambulance, ambulance. Well, here we are. Looking through the lobby door. Hi, Mondo. 
Can you take this package? Yes, I can. A package, a package. Donna Lenhart. Mm. I never get anything. I don't get anything. All I want is an encoder. North Dakota. I think I'll do, that's what I'll do, I'll do. Goodbye Miami today. In honor of North Dakota. So my grandson wants to join the, uh, wants to join the live stream tonight. And I'm encouraging him to, because he's learning how to perform and act and stuff like that. Oh, Donna. Yeah. What do you think it is? M&M's. M&M's? Yes. M&M's. I don't know, I think. Or, or, sweet and, sweet and low. Sweet and low. It's light. Whatever it is, it's very light. No, I don't know. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, still no haircut. About two months. I told my wife I was going for a... Duro, the Duro look. She screamed. She said no. There's my I, ear pods. I don't know how to turn them on. I don't know how to turn them off. So I leave them there. Let's take that off. It's sweet and low. <laughs> A lifetime supply of sweet oil. Okay, I gotta uh, take my shoes off. Sorry for this. Did everybody come in? Four boxes of sweet and low. Anybody want some sweet and low? We got it. Boy, do we have sweet and low. I'm going inside. Well, 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 in my inner sanctum, where all is peaceful. And Bob Ross occurs to me. See those lovely trees? Those trees, those bushes over there. We're going to paint them with a little doodad. Oh, let's see if my, I'm still recording. I, uh, yes, I am. I, uh. Because, hey, John Coliani, how are you? Because I can't put it on, I can't stream it on YouTube anymore. And what a loss for YouTubers everywhere. I am now, oops, I am now recording it on uh, Facebook. I'm recording it on live on my computer. And um, I'm gonna post it, I'm gonna put it up on YouTube later. So that the YouTubers, if they so desire, if they so desire, as they say in Baltimore, if you so desire. Speaking of Baltimore, there's a, a little joke about Baltimore. The three wise men from, just come from Baltimore. They finally found the, Jesus in the, in the manger, in the, in the, in the manger, that's right. And uh, they walk in, and they're all covered. They're really dirty. They're covered in soot. They're covered in all kinds of junk. And uh, they look terrible. And Mary looks up and says, what, what's, what's the meaning of this? And one of them says, well, we just, we just, we just come from afar. Afar. Got to be from Baltimore. Balmer. In Balmer, everybody got that way. You come from afar. 
I had a fire in my house. We had a fire. It was, uh, it was terrible. Bad fire. Okay. Okay, Hans. Uh, so my parents didn't speak that way. So that's why none of us spoke that way. Well, we, some of us did. We, we all had uh, various sundry accents. But uh, once you get out of Baltimore, you realize nobody understood you unless you spoke. The Chancellor, yes. John Coliani, I just want you to know I'm reading two books that you would love. One is The Weapons of Destruction about the economy of Germany during the Second World War and how they struggled to keep up and how they eventually the economy, they just couldn't make, they couldn't keep up. And, it's a very, and then uh, it's really quite interesting. And uh, it's written by Adam Tooze, who's a teacher, a professor up at Columbia, which is to my right. No, to my, up here. This is my right. It's up to my left, that's right. And uh, <clears throat> Adam Tooze uh, wrote this really great book. It's, it's, it's like a, a textbook. It's undoubtedly a textbook in one of his courses, because, man, is it complex. But I love it. I love it. Oh, boy. Um, well, tonight, I, you'll notice, I, I just realized what a service I'm making, uh, providing to mankind, putting the actual date on my, uh, on my notices. So we all know that today is Sunday, April 26th, 2020, because it's easy to forget what, what date is. No, I thought I heard the, the ambulances outside honking and plonking. Um, so I have to be giving credit for that. If there's any reason for, reason, good reason for doing this, it's at least that people know what date it is. Now I'm gonna mess for a second I wonder if I should mess with it. Mike Miller, hi, hi, Mike. How are you tonight? <laughs> Howard Gloucester. Howard, can I tell who Howard Gloucester is? Cla Cla yes, Howard. Can I tell him, or do you have to be remain? Do you prefer to be under your cloak? Oh, yes, How Bill, you're right. I didn't hang up my phone last night because I was halfway between saying hello to everybody and I left it on and as a result the video got lost and I didn't get the video from last night and I want to I want a video of every night so I can do the best stuff that's my plan is to do the best stuff I called to make sure we didn't have <laughs> an Anna Maria Alberghetti moment I don't know what that is I don't know what that is oh uh, I don't know I think I know yes go ahead fine Howard Gloucester is really John Weber the pianist, the brilliant, brilliant jazz pianist, who is strikingly uh, adept at every kind of music that, that was ever played for the piano, in my opinion. And he's been tuning in, he's been signing in as Howard Gloucester. He says that's his, is, that is his Facebook name. And I said, man, this guy Howard Gloucester really knows what he's talking about. Who in the hell is Howard Gloucester? Turns out it's my friend John, which is great. I love it. Um, so now it did. But I'm not going to tell anybody else. So how are you? You'll be on your... <laughs> I... <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, Nancy Reed. Nancy's Reed. Now you, Nancy Reed is a bass player and a singer. Of, she's really terrific. She and her husband, Spencer. Uh, they, they, they make a, a beautiful guitar voice duo. And they live out in, I think it's Delaware Water Gap or somewhere very nearby because you, they can always be found at the... Deerhead Inn. Now, the Deerhead Inn has become one of my favorite places to be. It's just that it's, it's wonderful. And now they're not doing anything. And I keep thinking of San Nancy is, you know, sitting at the bar. The place joints closed. She's got her phone up on the napkin container. She's got the glass of wine and she's just remembering how it used to be. Anyway, um, thank you, Jay, for doing this. I haven't done it yet. But I appreciate it. Listen, thank me for doing this. Because uh, it's, it's teaching me something. I'm not sure what it's teaching me. Um, I have things I do want to discuss with you. But first of all, let us play a song. I, 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 I have two songs I want to do. Of course, it's my, my opening theme I have to do. me up is 
as I sit and worry about uh, all these other mics for YouTube. I mean, this whole setup for YouTube is ridiculous. And with Facebook, I just stick my iPhone there and that's it. So there's something to be learned from all this. I mean, I've got two mics and I'm even wearing this little lavalier here tonight for just to, to make a video for Facebook, uh, for YouTube, just to see how it works too. Yet, uh, I've just got my phone sitting on a, a tripod, not even plugged in, nothing. It's not, I don't even think it's gone, uh, I, don't, I don't think it's even online. Maybe I should change it. I think it's just using the phone. Yeah, it's fine. No wonder they make six trillion dollars a year. Tell you something as we start the show. It's a little something I thought you should know. So I will tell you as we settle into place. It's impossible to sing and play the bass. You're a lovely group of people. You deserve the courtesy of knowing what you can expect of me. I have practiced, but it will not mean a thing. Because it's impossible to play the bass and sing. You see the basses, fellas. It's not like a guitar or bass. You spend your whole life wondering where the hell you are. It's got no little markers, just a fingerboard so bare and lots of notes. With, lots of notes. Lots of notes. Lots of notes with lots of notes. Lots of notes which really aren't that there. Lots of notes which often are not there. start singing you've got lyrics on your mind and the notes on bass become impossible to find to remember lyrics melodies bass lines and chords is no less a miracle than lore's so as i make a thousand errors sit there and be kind do not throw tomatoes at me keep this all in mind remember this is serious remember this is art Remember this or I will fall apart. Then I'd have to pray to God to come and intercede. And she'd only sit and laugh at my wanton greed. She made the rules for molecules, atoms, time, and space. And she knows it's impossible. Knows it's impossible. doing it every night because I'm going to have I'm going to have endless versions of this I think it's I think it's fun and then I can edit them and make fun of them and listen to them and have each line sung from a different take but here's a song I used to do in B flat and I, I got really used to doing in B flat now, because I do, I do think my range is getting is definitely getting uh, lower. That'll happen as you reach 100. Um, so I'm gonna, and I love it singing. But it's a challenge. It's a feat, but a responsibility we meet. Something that New Yorkers must see through. It's a drag. It's a pain. But a fact of life so very plain Something that we simply have to do As the garbage must be schlepped So the streets they must be swept From the west side to the FDR So at the crack of dawn your, The alarm clock switches on You get up, get dressed, go down and move the car Every auto on the block must vacate the chosen side. A 
and then the sweeper passes by. The dirt and dust do fly. We sit and watch and nearly burst with civic pride. Pride, pride. But you've double parked your car and you must not wander far. You double parked your car and you must not wander far. Because someone who you're blocking in may find he must get out. Get out. And if they can't locate you, they quickly come to hate you. A little slice of life, little slice of life, a little slice of life, you're better off without. Ladies and gentlemen, my grandson Vaughn has requested to to come in and be a part of this tonight. So so he will. So he will. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. So it's new. Um, not much. I haven't <laughs> seen you in a while. Right, right. We've, we were just outside in the street screaming and hollering, and he was uh, doing his. You can read the. You can read the. You can do anything you want. As a matter of fact. Uh, but it's all up to you. So uh, what I was saying during the, the song was, is that um, um, when you play it in a different key, you, you miss a whole lot of cues. Do you know that? Oh, totally. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> so what's new? What's up? What are you doing? Uh, Make something up. Something dumb. Uh, I, I was just riding an elephant. It was really fun. <laughs> well, the elephant. Oh, that was, that's the noise in the living room. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, Vaughn is in uh, sixth grade. At uh, he was whatever's left of sixth grade, whatever demolished. I'm no. going back in seventh grade though. You are? Yeah, I'm not going to be in sixth grade anymore because school is officially called off. So. That's good. That's good. So, but you're still studying, right? <laughs> I saw his marks the other day. Great marks. Great marks. You should study at home. Don't even bother to go to school anymore. <laughs> yeah. So, um, um. What I wanted to tell you was, um, oh, I'm going. You know, I'm going to do. I'm going to start giving a bass lesson every day. Hi, Mary Jane Harper. Go ahead. Bobby Broom. Bobby Broom. Hey, Bobby Broom. Now there, ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Broom. Everybody know Bobby Broom. If you don't, you should listen to Bobby Broom's trio. I can't remember. I've forgotten what it's called. The trio. It's so good. The trio. Get them. Get the. Oh, Bobby, give me the name of the trio. Send me the name of the trio. Bobby is one of the most excitingly good jazz guitar players I've ever heard. And I was going to try to get him into New York to uh, play with us at Birdland, but something happened. I don't know why. Somehow it's not happening. Get it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but there's Bobby Broom on the line. Always love your show, Jay. Thanks. Hi, Vaughn. 
Mary Jane Harper says hi, Vaughn. Yeah, I saw. Good, you see? I said hi back. You are so big. Tomoko says you are so big. I am not that big. I haven't gained that much weight. I, yeah. <laughs> so he's working on stuff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. I think I like it. Uh, anyhow, um, so th that's it. Now, Vaughn, I, I may be obligated to, to sing a new song or two. Or not a singer. Oh, I know what we'll do. This is the fun part. I need 10 words. Really? Yes, because I'd make a song out of 10 words. I'd, I'd make a lyric out of 10 words that I've never sung before. And you watch how quickly those words will pop up. Uh, to be continued. No, that's not it. Yeah, Bobby. Yes, great. Praise Jesus. I need 10 words for my new song. I, t I need for the audience to send me 10 words that absolutely... Nice to see you too, Bill Crow. Hey, Bill. I need 10 words. Because in spite of the distraction... Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Albert Kisson. Tomorrow. Kumquat. Kum kumquat. T-O-M-O-R-R-O-W. <laughs> kumquat. Labradoodle and trope. <laughs> kumquat. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't wait for labradoodle. Labradoodle. You, you don't get two. Darling. Wait a minute. Did, did somebody say Labradoodle and trope? No. D like, two, <laughs> two, two. Jesus. Darling and sphincter. We got to... <laughs> you know what you said. Juxtaposition. Juxtaposition. Uh, tennis. Sphincter. You know what sphincter is? Absolutely not. No, okay, good. He has no idea. Good. Well, I really don't know. Is it's, that like the... It's your, it's your muscle in your rear end. It's it's what you it's your squeeze it's your sphincter. It's like you know when you're like your yeah like yes like, yes don't don't go don't go into it any further yeah, yes got it I, I don't want to, it, that, that's when you squeeze yeah I it's your thanks no yeah. well, no I'm, I'm being good uh, tofu I'm sorry I missed everybody else's platypus platypus lifeboat <laughs> platypus lifeboat Has. boat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two more. There's probably they're probably up there. Yeah. Tennis. T tennis. Okay, one more. Well, that's a very weird word. That's going to throw the whole song off. But I'll put the rutabaga. <laughs> you know what rutabaga is? No. It's a. It's a. You don't? No. These, these words sound made up. No, that, there's a rutabaga. Is a. Is a. Let's look it up. What is it? somebody? It's a. It's a vegetable, isn't it? Rutabaga. Rutabaga. It's a vegetable. Platypus. <laughs> I don't know why I bother. As I say, this song writes itself. Tomorrow, kumquat, labradoodle, darling, sphincter, tofu, platypus, lifeboat, tennis, and rutabaga. Did somebody, did somebody tell us what it was, rutabaga? Bill Piss is here. Ned White. Ned. Ratings are skyrocketing. Thank you. I know, I know. It's, it's, <laughs> that's it. Going through the roof, I believe, is the term. Ratings are going through the roof. Did nobody know what rutabaga was? I don't know what it is either. I, I, I need a definition before I can make up a, ratings are skyrocketing. Oh, and that's not it. Come on, somebody knows what rutabaga is. Yes, it's yes, a vegetable. Yes, a vegetable. Thank you, okay. Christopher. I can see, see it. Balmer. Yes, this thing's kind of new from being in Balmer. Okay, look at me, Bond, because this is, I have to make a song with those words in. All right. Excuse me. I, you'll have to let Sorry, me buy it. I can't get by. Move, move, move.
It's not a tofu. Or a labradoodle. Tofu is more related to a, a noodle. But not really. Darling, only your sphincter will tell you what it is. You don't I have to stick. Goes. Okay, Fun. great. Good. You stick I like being, this. I like this end better. Okay. Of the thing. Okay. Well, you, you do what you need to do and come back and join us at any time. Oh, I was just gonna wait. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. I, I okay. Okay. Let me do one more song. I've always known that I wanted to get closer to you. Do you think that maybe there is a small chance that this could happen? Please don't fly, because if it doesn't happen, I won't die. It's just that I know I could wait forever if it seems impossible that you might give in. But do not worry about me. I am a survivor, maybe not a thriver. But somehow I manage still. It is pretty big about you only wallowing so pity. I get back and only still I am able to make sense of it. Don't ask how. Take it easy. Just let the world keep spinning and I keep hope. Oh, my grandpa. So I'll cool it. Perhaps I'll even try to struggle along without you, bump along without you. Take it easy, just let the world keep spinning and keep hope you will come around. Or maybe I will just fade back and stop all this scheming, dreaming, trying to knock your head over heels when it is quite clear how you feel. I guess I like a certain sex appeal. But who am I kidding? I'll never give up. I was just thinking. Come here. So, uh, Vaughn lives in Harlem. Vaughn lives on 153rd Street and St. Nicholas Place. Yeah. Are they celebrating up there? Uh, yeah, but not as much as here. Well, who would ever I say? mean, but like, like, I play my trumpet out the window. That's really cool. And a lot of people like being pots and pans. Great. Oh, good. Well, it's the same. It sounds the same to me. Maybe not as many people. That's no, all. it's it, it, 
It, it's just like a smaller... The buildings aren't as tall. I mean, that's what I mean. There's not as many people there. Yeah. The, now, I, did you, the, the ambulances, I realized, were there tonight because they were so, they were there like in... Um, like soldiers in parade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were all like this singing an anthem and stuff. Oh, were they? Yeah, yeah. Like down the street. They were like, oh, God bless America. And oh, really? All the, the, they were like that. and. Then... Really? Oh, so I was expecting some kind of noisy parade, but they were there just, oh, man, that's great. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm glad I didn't see it. I don't think I could have, I think I'd still be in tears. Mm -hmm. I'm going to push this over a little bit so I can see myself a little bit. So I can see what I'm saying. Because there's no there's no uh, lack of sync between the screen and here, so I don't get confused. Uh, so you play the trumpet up there now. What what do you do during the day? What what does you and mom do during the day? Really? Uh, a fine line between nothing and nothing. Oh come on, you study. No, you... I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I I study and then like um uh. You go out. I, uh, yeah, I go out sometimes, but it, it it's when it's nice out, like in the park, there's so many people. So I try not to go too late, so I, I go early, like with my friends. See, what happened was, yeah. Vaughn has not been here for five, six weeks, because they, they were being very protective of Grandma and Grandpa. But after six weeks, when they, uh, they had not had any temperature, they'd not, you know, they hadn't been out. They had, they, they whatever had happened... They're here. We miss them terribly. And now they're here for this weekend. So we're very thrilled to see Carolyn and Vaughn. And uh, that's why. I'm probably going to stay here through tomorrow, too, though. Okay. Because, like, it was, it, it's going to be rainy. So rainy. Like, don't really let rain. No, because like, I don't want to bike in the rain. Oh. Back oh, you rode your bikes down here. Where'd yeah. you Where'd you put your bikes? Under the staircase. We rode it, like, all the way down here. Well, I'd take it in my car, except my car doesn't work anymore. Yeah. It, it, no, it, it works, but uh, I'm afraid I'll lose a parking spot and never get it. I mean, not a lot of people are using their cars these Unless days. Unless you put, like, cones. Like, it's, like, some sort of special... Cones, right. Thing. Uh, right. Can't, and they'll be can't take, park here. They'll be taken away in two seconds later. Let's see what we got here. Stefan Held is watching. Cynthia Stanley Crane is watching. Hi, Cynthia Crane. Major 7th. Yes, yes. I was going to... Was, was, I was going to ask you to, to write down the chords, uh, John... And submit the chords of that song. That's it. Oops. Something's ringing that shouldn't be ringing. I have to fix that. There's something holding something up. It's a pencil underneath something. But I got, I, I didn't totally clear the piano, but I got a lot of junk out of it. And now it's to get that other thing. Uh, Sue Masuki, hey, hey, my Jay. That's one gorgeous young man you have there. Yes, I know. Just like me, just like me, just like me. Just like me. Just like me. Yeah, his daddy is Wayne Escoffrey, and his daddy's a rather good looking young man. And his, my daughter is his mommy. And between the two of them, they, they're going to come up with a, some decent-looking children. And they did. Thank you. This guy. Thanks. And a smart guy, too. He's smart. A little too smart. But that's okay. He, we, he, he gets good marks. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Very good sense of humor. Dancer. Athlete. Major athlete. Oh, though that's gone now. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Skating, um, um, soccer, big, big soccer player. We, we ran into one of his soccer friends yesterday on the street, Marcus. Yeah. And I kind of like hockey more a little bit. What? I kind of like hockey more a little bit. You like who? Oh, hockey, hockey you do. He, hockey more. Hockey more. I thought hockey more was a friend of ours who I hadn't met. Oh. Hockey more. No, he's a good skater, a very good inline skater, and he's going to be playing s s hockey this spring if there is hockey this spring. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this, this winter. Yeah, I hope so. I hope there's something. Yeah, me too. And so, have you been seeing your friends? Um, what do you mean? How about Ramsey? Did you see your, your friend Ramsey? Ramsey's your best friend. Uh, yeah, I really do wish I could see him. But, like, I see, like, Ruby. 
but I see her like every single day because she lives like right around the block, so we don't really social distance, but we should. But like, like, like we, but we wear masks and everything. Well, we don't touch each other, but we don't really necessarily stay six feet away. Mm hmm. You see Ruby, but you don't see. Uh... No, well, whenever we see other people, we always stay six feet. But um, I kind of rather see my friend Ramsey because it's just we have more in common. Like Ruby, like we have a lot of stuff to talk about, but sometimes it's just like different. But I also I have a very it's it's really fun hanging out with all of them. So. Yeah, I know. I know you got a quite a group. You got quite a group up there. Some of you went to pre K together, right? Did yeah. Ruby, mm -hmm. and so Vaughn started school when he was eleven months. <laughs> eleven months, and he's now eleven years, and soon to be twelve years in no time at all. Absolutely. July eighth. When's my birthday? Here? April, May, June, July. Two and a half months. Two and a half months. Yeah, you got. On April and, and April, on May eighth in May eighth June, June eighth July eighth that's t May June July it's two months to then and then it's less than two months you're going to be twelve no yes no April May June eight, July eighth it's April May June are two full months the eighth <gasps> the eighth is uh, of, that's that's thirty that's roughly sixty eight days and today here we are on the 26, 26, so it's 12 days. It's a month and a half, two and a half months. Oh, I'm right. I've, I've always been thinking, like, I, 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 I wish I always was looking forward to be 12. Being 12? Yeah. Well, soon you're going to be a teenager. Yeah. What do you think about that? It's weird. I don't know. I, it's do, you have any, do you have any thoughts about it at all? Come yeah, on. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm just excited um, to, to, I guess, to be an older grades because like i don't know the, the usually the people in the older grades aren't as nice like aren't as nice no like the eighth graders like they never let us play with the football so why do you want to be in that grade so you'll be nice yeah so i'll be nice so i'll let like other sixth and seventh graders play kids you see what you have to look forward to in that school what's what's it manhattan east yeah manhattan east all you let me see just third and fourth graders Look forward to that when Vaughn's in the in the eighth grade over there. It's going to be an easy time. The eighth graders are not going. to, I hope. No, I, there won't be me. But like, I, I don't know. Well, hey, school is school. Kids are kids. That's where you toughen up. You learn how to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see who we got. Here. What do we got? Vaughn, you are. Somebody says Vaughn, you are. Lou Tobacco, hey Lou Tobacco. You are ready to have your own YouTube channel. I, I actually, so I kind of do, but it's just, I can't think of anything fun to put on it. Like, I have like these like videos, but it, they're just videos for me on my iPad. So I'm like, let me scroll. And I look at this one and I watch it. I'm like, maybe this is a good one to pick. I see what's on it. I'm like, nah. No, well, well your, yeah. your, your TikTok account is full of funny stuff. Yeah. I have a lot of followers on that one. Oh, yes. Francois Zalakane says he sees you sporting a Chelsea T-shirt. Oh, yeah. Is that bad or good? And why not a, a PSG? Well, I, I don't really... Uh, you want me to change? I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Francois, don't go away. Uh, but while you're changing, Vaughn... Yeah? I'm going to play some. Okay. Hi, Lou Tobacco. How the hell are you? Everything all right over there? How's your lovely wife? Is she feeling all right? Good. I hope so. Well, Francois, Vaughn's going to change into a PSG shirt just for you. What is that a bad? Oh, Arsenal. Oh, dear. Vaughn, you got Arsenal? I don't think he does. I don't think he does. I don't think he does. He, he's, he's a Man City guy. You don't have Arsenal, do you? You don't have Arsenal, do you? How many do you want me to have? Just, just one. Which one is this? Okay. PSG. PSG. Sorry, Francois. It, it's all he has is PSG and, and this. Don't you have an Arsenal? Or a... I, I don't like Arsenal. Ooh. I'm just going to go it's... straight up. I, oh. I'm i sorry. <laughs> I like Man City. Uh -oh. I have an Arsenal oh, scarf. Fr Francois left us. No, no, don't leave, Francois. Here, 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 I'll plug the album. I'll plug the, I'll, I'll the album. I'll do something good. Don't leave us. 
We need you. How's Christine? Is Christine around? What happened to my album? I must have dropped it on the floor or something. I don't see our album. It's not nearby. It sounds like the first line of a song. Well, last night was July 25th, ladies and gentlemen. And our trio was appearing at Birdland last night, except I don't remember a thing about it. Yeah. I, I don't remember going there. I don't remember the, the crowd. I don't remember Tomoko. I don't remember Vito being there. I don't remember our sound check. I guess we didn't do it. And that's been the story this spring. One cancellation after another. It's terrible. I, and, and on top of that, I can't find my CD. I have others, but I can't find that one. No, no. Here, did you ever see this one? Do I share that one? That's, uh, let me see. Bucky. No, that's Johnny Frigo. John Bunch, the... The uh, owner of the restaurant where he played in every night was so much fun. This Johnny Frigo, I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to see there. And, of course, that's me in the red shirt. Wait, uh, that's you? Yeah, well, I was must have been standing on a curb or something. See it? That's in oh. Italy. We were in, that was in the 90s. We used to go to Italy all the time. Oh. All the clubs you like are owned by Russian Al oligarchs. Oligarchs. Oh. Oligarchs. Vaughn is a delight, and but he's for real. We love him. Thank you. Thanks, Nachum. Oh, that's Nachum Navi. Do, 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 you, do you know Rene Raff? You, you, who I work for? Uh -huh. well, uh, that's his husband there. They're down oh, in. Oh, cool. They're down in Florida, cooped up in a. Uh, <clears throat> in a tiny little co-op that just, just barely room for them. Uh, and they, they're trying to come back to New York. Renee and I perform here in New York when there's some place to perform in. And we, we're going to be at Studio 54 sometime next year with uh, our masks on. And I thought, oh, how the hell, what's some music business going to be like? I have no idea. After this? Yeah. I feel like everything's going to change after this. Like... I just feel like, I don't know, it's just like, even in, when I watch movies and people get close, I'm like, ooh, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. I and know. Then, and then, like, if there's, like, if there's, like, if there's, like, a bomb, and, like, it's, like, because I'm watching a lot of action stuff, and they're, like, we're going to go out together. I'm like, don't touch. <laughs> don't, don't do that. No. <laughs> you'll, you'll both get the virus, it's and just, then get blown up. Yeah, Exactly. Uh, but it's yeah, it's sort of just changing the way I think. But like for real. So. Yeah, I know. Well, I see. You see everything. Everything, and it's all crowds. It's all crowds. People holding, and, and none of that. So what's what's going to happen? Mm hmm. I, hmm. 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 Very interesting. Very interesting problems. Uh, I think I'll go do another song. If I could, where, where's my album? I'm annoyed that I can't find that album. Is it like a oh, CD? Or? I just found a picture of me and Marion. I'm trying to put it. That's at St. Peter's Church. By the way, this the, the video, I'm going to show this on the YouTube video. Um, it will be, I'm, I'm making a video of this and I'm going to put it on, post it on YouTube tonight so that my video my youtubers can at least see what we did but it's not the same it's not the same looking at it later it just isn't funny with all these crazy things coming in we lost, we lost your signal. signal we have an album with you jay and johnny frigo as sidemen do you remember that one uh no not really not really sorry I vaguely remember it. I do vaguely remember it now. Steve Jones. Steve Jones. Yes, his son, Daryl, is a very, very good bass player. Very oh, good cool. bass player. I mean, doing all kinds of great stuff. 
Oh, Meredith, Meredith D'Ambrosio's record. Oh, well, we made a lot of those, so I have to be forgiven to be, to, uh, to have forgotten exactly how it came about. Yes, Meredith D'Ambrosio. Come on over when it cools out. Six feet is cool. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Lou. I will. I will. I love that K bass you've got in the cellar. I mean, it, those are the best plywood bases in the world. And you've got one sitting in your cellar waiting for me. Excuse me, Vaughn. I'm going to go do something. Okay, Anything. Okay, sit back in. This song is, was featured in the show Secrets Every Smart Traveler Should Know. And I used to get up every night for two and a half years and do this song. And the audience reaction was always different. I mean, they laugh, they'd laugh, but sometimes they got different lines and they got, I never understood what happened. It's like a, like they're all in telecommuting with, communicating with each other in the audience. We're swimming like a school of fish. The leader goes one way and they all go in that same direction. So anyway, I imagine what would happen if I was coming back from Europe or anywhere with everything on the list that you shouldn't bring back with you, everything. The song was written as if I were in the customs office explaining myself. Here I am in customs, inexplicably detained, and from getting angry, I will have to be refrained. Yes, I've read the regulations. What could the problem be? Why, oh, why are you detaining me? Okay, perhaps I did pick up a couple things abroad. But this kind of harassment really ought to be outlawed. You are making such a big deal over minuscule details. So much fuss about a box of snails. Yes, I have been in Nairobi raising sheep and cattle. Yes, I have been... In... Yes, I read the regulations, all that pointless prattle. But so much fuss and bother about a bag of soil. Frankly, you are making my blood... Boy, oh. I'm going to take it down a half step. Now you're getting all upset. I do not. Oops. Uh, I've got two alligators from the hot Brazilian swamps. A testy little chimpanzee that screeches, bites, and stomps. An otter from the Maldives. A goat from Kathmandu. A cockroach from a hut in Timbuktu. A little baby llama from the mountains of Tibet. Six or seven ostrich eggs that have not hatched quite yet. Mosquitoes from Botswana, a parrot from Peru. And you won't let me through. You confiscate my passport. Now that is such a drag. Just because you found a couple earthworms in my bag. I've read the regulation. What could the problem be? Why? you're getting all upset I do not understand this is just a Paraguayan pigeon perching on my hand these are just some monkey droppings I found in Zaire and now you won't come near you want to check my briefcase go ahead now please what is that nothing what are those nothing Persian bugs and fleas a little Irish whiskey, some camembert from France, turtles, killer bees, and fire ants. I bring back some souvenirs, and you all get so frantic like maybe I should toss them all right into the Atlantic. I've read the regulations. What could the problem be? Why, oh, why are you detaining me? Why, oh, why are you detaining me? out, of course, that B-flat is also too high for me. So I played it in A minor, 
a B flat minor was too high. Then I played an A minor, and that was too high. So I did the last chorus in G minor, and coming up with the different fingerings whilst, whilst remembering those tricky lyrics was tricky. And that's why I had to stop a couple times there. Yeah. Because I'm playing different, I'm playing, it's one thing to get real used to playing in one key, and you're used to all the fingerings. All, the fingerings almost tell you what the lyrics are, and all of a sudden you're changing it all and going, but, and then you have to, my, my typical excuse, that's my usual excuse. I wanted to point out. It was still really good, though. Huh? It was still good. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was very good. I get a, a very good from my, uh, my, my <laughs> cousin, my <laughs> grandson. Hey, uh, well, what are you going to do? Is it, It's close. It's close. It's in the family. By the way, folks, I wanted to tell you, if you haven't seen Sherry Maracle's videos on how to play the drums, you don't have to be a drummer to love them. She sits there and plays all these great little techniques and stuff. You gotta see this. And it's beautifully done. Uh, it, it's really great fun to watch it because she's she's a wonderful, wonderful drummer, and boy does she know what she's doing. And you want there's one up on the last one I just saw, maybe maybe the first one is about brush playing of brushes, and oh my lord. And she's dropping names like, well, I studied this with Mel Lewis and I studied this with uh, Jeff Hamilton. I'm going, my God. Uh, but then I can drop Ray Brown's name. I studied with Ray Brown, so 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 there. Also studied with Rocco Krasnopolsky, Bill Curtis, and um, there's somebody else. Oh, oh, not, not the list of which was Ron Carter when I came to town. As a, at age 21, I went over to Ron Carter's house. We took a couple lessons together, and uh, it was fun. It was fun. I got to know him, and then. Uh, I've been working with him all my life. You're a trumpet player. What do you think? What? Are you still playing the trumpet? Yeah, of course. Of course. Are you practicing at home? Um, well, well that's <coughs> sort of different, you know. It's, it, uh, that's, no, that's does that 7 o'clock long tones count? <laughs> yes. Then absolutely. The long mean, ba. Yeah, yeah. Is, is your sound getting better? I haven't heard you play in six yeah. weeks for some reason. So you have to Facebook me some, you're going to have to FaceTime me some, um, some uh, long tones. I really want to hear. Am I keeping you up? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm tired. It's like... Oh. Okay. Uh, um, so, so that's what I, I wanted to talk about that. Uh, oh, and I was thinking about last night. I, I had this song about, song about Paul Chambers, who I never met. I never met Paul Chambers, although I did see him play at the Village Vanguard once with Miles. And uh, <clears throat> that's and he, I adored him. I thought he was just the most deeply musical bass player I'd ever seen in my life. And he was. And then Ray comes along and just slashes and burns and uh, lets you know that just who he is. I love that. Maybe I'm going to end on Ray Brown. No, I'm going to I'll do the first chorus of... I have a nice duo. I have a nice duo of songs I'm working on. I can't do the whole song. Oh, here it is. Maybe I can do the whole song. So I wrote one about Paul Chambers. And this is a long time ago. And the Ray Brown songs, I have a lot of those because that was really my major influence. Dignified and true. Oh, when you go up the E flat, it gets hard. There will be the even. Wow, 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 wow. This thing in the harmony. Wow, wow. That's the idea. The other one is. I miss that big, broad smile. This is about Ray Brown. i 
suddenly I really start to miss our That was the last song. Oh. You want to do another? Was it? You, you need one more? I like it. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. Did you ever hear when I was a little boy, growing up in Baltimore? Did you ever no. hear that? One? You never heard I'm that? No, I probably have, but like. I don't think you have. Where really? it mentions all, all my brothers and sisters. No. You didn't hear that one? No. Look at that. A little family history passing down. Uh. When I was a little boy, I growing up in Baltimore, I used to tell my mama everything. I tell her everything and more. She said, son, you can do anything if you set yourself a goal. But whatever you do, boy, don't lose your soul. You know my mom. As I prepared to leave the nest, I growing up in Baltimore, I got to telling mama less and less than I ever did before. I thought it was my turn to fly, like an Oreo. She said, fly the sky, boy, but don't lose your soul. Every day, my mama would pray, six children going every which way for the devil. But we was mighty fine prey. We was Billy John, Bowie, Jean, Valerie, and Jay. Never heard that? I think I heard it. I went out to see a world, a world I never saw before. I got to meeting people doing things, playing jazz and rock and roll. Don't listen. Drinking lots, getting stoned, and I'm losing my soul. I got to feeling bad enough. I went back to Baltimore. I tried to climb back up into the nest, the nest I'd left from before. But the winter winds have come and gone. I've blown the nest down from the tree And the only person gonna save my soul Was a person named me Every day I'm a mama would pray Six children going every which way For the devil A wee was mighty prime prey We was Billy John Bowie, Jean, Valerie, and Jay Nowadays I'm 79 My hair has grown quite thin Still I'm sitting waiting for Good times to begin. Mama's gone and mama's up and gone now. She's reached her final goal, but she thinking, do what you want, boy, but don't lose your soul. Do you do you do every day? My mama would pray. Six children going every wish day for the devil. Are we was mighty prime play. We was Billy John Bowie Jean Valerie and J I say Billy John Bowie. I said, Billy John, do, 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 do. Bowie Jean, do, 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 do. Billy John, Bowie Jean, Valerie, and Jane. I like that one. That was good. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. It's the kind of stuff I've been writing since I was, since you were not, weren't even a thought. I was started writing songs like that in 1974. So that would be what? That'd be uh, 45 years ago. Okay, folks, it's been great to have you, great to share you with my grandson. <laughs> really, just 
such a pleasure. And uh, listen, I'll see you all tomorrow night. It's the best I can do. Monday night, same place, same time. Thanks for coming, everybody. I'm going to... I'm, hi, Dan Nimmer. Good to see you again, man. Um, hi, Francois. Everybody, I, there's so many people. I'm going to just get back to you all later. I may not even acknowledge tonight it's because I keep forgetting to turn the thing off and, uh, and I drag you into uh, places you don't really want to go. Uh, show, Jay and Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Christopher Lentz, that's, that was the man who used to work with Les Paul. Oh, cool. He, used to, he was the sound guy for Les Paul. He's a terrific guy. He, tunes it every day. Jay, teaching your grandson how to be a performer. Well, he's teaching himself. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just subjecting him to the, uh, to the rigors of it all. All right, everybody, I will see you later. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.